I grew up, I mainly listened to to songs on the radio and you know like CDs of like great Israeli singers, songwriters, people that I adored when I was you know eight, nine, ten, that kind of age. But I always wanted, I always, I was always around the piano, I was always playing, and I didn't really. It wasn't enough for me to just play these songs over and over again. I needed something more, and I, I was always coming up with melodies, which was composing that I didn't know that was the name for it, and I, I was always improvising. Also, I didn't know that there was a type of music that, you know, where you do that for a living, you know, improvise. So then, when the first time I heard jazz, I was amazed by the fact that there's this whole realm of music and great musicians all centered about the ability to improvise and to invent music on the spot. So that sound, m might sound very, uh, you know, simple, but that's the main thing about jazz that immediately caught my ear. The ability to invent music on the spot. Which Israeli musicians inspired you to come to the United States and pursue jazz full time? Uh, definitely Omar Avital, which is, I'm happy to have him here on stage with me tonight. Uh, an amazing bass player, amazing composer. Uh, other musicians like Avishai Cohen, the bassist, uh, Anat Cohen and Avishai Cohen, horn players, uh, the brother and sister, uh, Eli Dejibri, some folks that were already uh, in the States, the, they were coming to Israel to perform now and then, every now and then, and I, I would go and see them, and I, you know, it really inspired me to see that some people that are not very much, you know, older than me could uh, achieve such level in the States, you know, be in New York, play in the best venues and really play with also great American musicians. But they were from Tel Aviv, from cities around where I grew up. So that kind of showed me that I could do it. How did you come up with the compositions for introducing Omar Klein? Were those some tunes you've been working on for a long time? Or uh, did you write them specifically for that project? Well, it's a good question. I think most of them came out of my being, not specifically for that record, but just when I moved, when I just moved from, from Israel to the United States, I first moved to Boston. I, I went to school for a year at the New England Conservatory, and the, the, the change was so shocking that I immediately started uh, to write melodies that were a lot more um, uh, connected to the sounds of Israeli music than everything, than anything else I, I ever composed before. And that wasn't intentional, but that just came out that way. I, I guess I needed to feel that I'm still rooted in, in Israel and uh, connected to my family and to that whole area. So after a while, I saw that I already have, you know, a bunch of songs that are all around the same themes. They all sound very Israeli, very Middle Eastern to me, which was, again, different than everything I, I had composed up until then. And also I felt that this, these songs are basically about this first year in the States, the experience of not being in Israel anymore, being here, but also starting to find myself here and to create music that's very much from where I come from. So when I, when I felt that uh, the music is already you know, ripe to be recorded and documented, that's how the record came out. Your songs tend to have a very accessible, melodic quality, which is probably why they've been so well received, don't you think? Uh, I, I hope so. Well, it, it's, it's funny. I mean, I, like I said, I come from songs. So from the moment I discovered music until the moment I discovered jazz, there were something like eight years of just listening to songs, not to, not to jazz or improvisation or to instrumental music at all. So I think this is probably the the strongest education that I that I will ever get. That these those years of like age five to uh, thirteen or something like that uh, of just listening to many many songs and tr trying to figure them out on the piano. Okay, ah, this goes to this instead of this goes to this, you know, and uh, starting to find a lot of beauty in songs. So. My jazz, the jazz that I create now, is very much influenced from that. I mean, in the sense that, like, 
you know, young jazz musicians your age today, a lot of it is about flash and technique, and that seems to be the direction that a lot of young players are going, whereas your thing is about melody and meaning and storytelling almost, uh, along with everything else. Yeah. But there's a lot of storytelling and, and, and melody in, in, your, in your playing. That's just, you know, something that is very natural to me. It's not definitely, a, it's not necessarily a, a choice that I make, but more like something that is just my, uh, my natural tendencies. Uh, but I do, I mean, I do, things that m might occur to someone as flashy sometimes, but only if that is what I'm hearing inside me at that moment. But a lot of the time what I hear inside me are, like you said, like you mentioned, uh, um, melodies and fragments that are more singable. So let's talk about the new CD, Heartbeats. Uh, what made you want to do a solo piano CD? Well, again, it, uh, the idea followed the material, you know, like I said, like with introducing Omer Klein. I, com I composed, you know, again, something like 10 comp new compositions, and I was working around them and playing them at home. And I don't know why, but I, I started to feel that they might fit uh, the solo, you know, the, the piano with no accompaniment. and. Uh, while I started working on that, I immediately understood that this is going to be a challenge that I never encountered before. And that made me want to do it, you know. When I went to the studio, really, I, I, I really saw how hard it is for your mind and for your spirit. And how also technically demanding, you know, it is to, uh, to perform on one instrument alone. And, especially when you have to improvise and create music on the spot. So I really wanted that challenge in a way. And how does it feel to be uh, releasing your CD at the Blue Note here in New York? Well, it's, it's very exciting. I mean, uh, there are so many uh, great jazz musicians that I uh, really admire that have performed here and so many amazing pianists uh, that I've seen here sitting on this chair and playing. Uh, so I, I, I feel honored and, and humbled. And I hope that I will, uh, you know, I will take this uh, opportunity and uh, make some good music with it.